should I re-attempt it again? If you're not, like I said, the variables for taking an MBA, very, very clear. If you have four years of experience, you've got a decent CAT percentile and you converted a good college, you're getting five lakh per annum, it's a no-brainer, go for it. If you have one year per experience, you feel like you have another 10% in you score-wise, CAT score-wise. Uh, and you are not in any particular hurry, the bias is towards waiting. Those of you who are taking CAT and gain this year, bunch of things for you to keep in mind. One is you doing one more shot at it. Therefore, the emotional investment is even higher. So we should say, look, I need to make sure that there are no gaps in this. One of our guys got a 90th percentile in his first attempt, 97 point five in his second attempt. By the time he had taken a second attempt, he, he had the belief that he could crack it. He left a 97.5 on the table and took cat again. When he prepared the third time, he said, look, I'm not leaving anything to chance. The first time was just touching the buttons. Second time was, uh, was a, a go at it. Was not covering all his bases. He was a rock star in verbal. He knew his shit. He could always turn up and get 99 plus in verbal. And so he had a strategy woven around. I'll, I'll kill verbal. I'll do decently in the other two. And then I have a shot. What time on? He said, Look, I'm not doing decently in the other two. I'm not saying I don't understand geometry. I'm not saying for number theory, I'll need more practice. He said, I'll, I'll go after geometry. I'll go after number theory. I'll make myself like math and learn from basics. I'll not leave anything to chance. And it really worked. It got him a percentile higher than 99.5, and he's, he's doing pretty well. Uh, so, if you're, if you're done and you're going for it all over again, it shouldn't leave anything to chance. If you have a weak topic, you should say, Look, I'm going to make that my strong topic. I'm going to go after it. Chances are, the first time you take cats, you don't take a sufficient number of mocks and you don't analyze them well enough. Start mock taking process very early. Very early. Take a lot more mocks. Make sure you don't have gaps that you need to fill in and work on what a potential weak area could be the themes that I would have for the, the repeater. For some, their preparation strategy writes itself. You've got a 99 in quant, 97 in DALR, and a, and a 72 in verbal. And it's clear, read tons of stuff. Know how to approach reading comprehension, and then you're good. Okay. So, Sometimes the preparation strategy doesn't write itself like that. There's no bias towards a one killer section or a killer poor section. If that is the case, if that is the scenario you're dealing with, you can amp up mocks and remove the chancey bits of your preparation. Leave nothing to chance. Work away on your error rate and you should be good.